yeah, 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 yeah. Hello! How you doing? We're gonna be making a meal today that you could use for any special occasion. Get your glasses. I don't want to wear my glasses. But how are you gonna read glasses. the recipe? I know it by heart. My no, mother, this you, is my mother's okay, recipe. Okay. I know it by heart. All it's right, inside me. When she died, it floated out of her body and into my brain. Okay. How are you gonna know how much is in this can? I don't gotta know. I, All I gotta I do is shake it, and I know it's two liters of sauce. Liters. Can we get to the okay, recipe, okay. please? So the first thing you do is what? The wash your hands. I don't want anybody getting sick from eating this meal and you're gonna say, oh, Tony didn't tell us how to cook it correctly. If people get sick, it's because you didn't wash your dirty fucking hands. There's a lot of filthy fucking people out in the world. A little soap and water is fine. Holy That's shit. That's the fucking hot mean, is this water. For this recipe, you need extra virgin olive oil. It's the only thing virgin in here. Ah! That's disgusting. You do not need an onion the size of your fucking head. Uh, that just happens to be the ones that they had at the market today. Some garlic. You're gonna need some salt, some pepper. You're gonna need cans of sauce. Stop pointing at things with that knife. You're gonna need a can of whole tomatoes. You're gonna need some basil. You're gonna need some Parmesan cheese. You're gonna need some baby chickens. You're gonna need some chicken tits. And you're gonna need uh, some breadcrumbs, Italian breadcrumbs. If you get anything other than Italian breadcrumbs, then this fucking dish is fucked. First step is you're gonna cut an onion. The best way to dice an onion, you cut about three quarters of the way down. You don't want to cut all the way through because if you do that, you're going to f it up. Now, you turn it the other way. Take your fingers and make them go like this. And then you dice all the way through. We're going to call this position the raptor claw. Da -da 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 -da. So now that you've chopped up your garlic and you got it on a nice plate like this and you got your onion in a bowl, you're gonna take your virgin olive oil and you're gonna put it in a pot. Make sure that the olive oil is hot, okay? Because if you don't do that, it's just gonna sit and swim and soak up olive oil. You're gonna f this dish up. And I know you're not gonna listen to me because nobody ever listens to Tony. That's why people keep making f mistakes. Nobody Isn't ever listens so to me. so great. Did it sizzle? Yes, it did. <clears throat> you're in the way of I the know, camera. I'm just you, checking can't it's... St you can't just walk in front I of me. Now you want to make sure you leave the garlic in until it's nice and golden brown before you put the onion in. Stop it's walking in front yet. of me. It's not quite brown it's, yet. Now it's golden brown. Holy shit. So you gotta make sure you put the onion in right away. And you're gonna cook the onion until it's clear or see-through. That's how you know that it's ready. Stop walking in front of me. So you wanna make sure you turn and stir these onions and garlic together so it gets nice and mixed up. Don't move the camera in a stirring motion. Gonna you're gonna make people sick to their stomachs if you do that. Now I like to add a little bit of crushed red pepper Not because it adds a little bit of spiciness. Not too much because Just you know when it's too spicy I get the sweat. What are you doing? I'm not doing that much. I did like five sprinkles. I made up a dance called the can opener. Do you want to see it? Nope. So you're going to add this can of sauce. I know everybody's going to do this right because my wife isn't distracting you at all. You're going to take this whole tomato. See this? This will squirt out and make a big f***ing mess in your kitchen unless you do this right. So don't f*** it up. All right, so you're going to just squeeze the juice out first. Make sure Ooh, it's not going to splatter. Look at the juicy juice. All right. Don't talk over me so they can hear what I'm saying. Juicy juice. And then you're going to just break it up in your hands just like that. Just crush it in your hands and drop it right into the pot just like that. Okay, so now the last part of your sauce is taking these basil leaves and you're going to break them up. Why do we break them up instead of putting them in whole? That's an excellent question. We're gonna do that because it allows the flavors of the basil to ferment into the sauce, all right? If you don't do it that way, you're it up. All right, here we go. You're not gonna it up though, you're gonna be great. So now that everything is in the pot and your sauce needs to come to a boil, find somebody you love, put on some music, and dance. Tony! Feel nice and good. So you've grated your cheese, you put it on your pasta, and now it's time to taste your hard work. Again, you probably f***ed yours up, but I'm positive that ours came out perfect. Salud! Salud! Toast! What the f*** was that?
What did you put in? I don't know. You put all the ingredients you in. You put something in there. No, I, I didn't, looking. Tony. The only ingredients that I put in, I put in salt yeah. and pepper. Okay. And then I put in crushed red pepper. Whoa, whoa, That's the whoa. only whoa. things that. These are fish flakes. Look at fish flakes. These Give me a fish, fish flakes. flakes. That's what we feed Big Bird. I didn't put this in. That's exactly what you put. I didn't put you it put in. You put ten? You put ten whole shakes of it in. Nope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.